Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays P2609? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does P2609 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number 0. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a Dodge, vehicles, also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two bits again determine the second character. The last bit styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code P2609 interpret specifically Dodge car manufacturers? The basic definition is Mode indicator 1 general electrical failures circuit short to ground. And now this is a short description of this DTC code. There is a position indicator in the switch for the 4C function for each selectable drive mode. Each position indicator is individually supplied with power from the suspension module sum and is ground via a common ground lead to the suspension module sum. When selecting the drive mode in the switch, the corresponding position indicator of the control module is activated. The diagnostic trouble code DTC is stored if the control module detects that voltage to the position indicator is too low. The control modules test for the diagnostic trouble code DTC starts in the event of ignition switch position 2, when the corresponding switch is activated the test is carried out every other operating cycle the suspension module sum defines an operating cycle as ignition on and ignition off note. The control module can only detect the fault once the test has been started and the diagnostic trouble code DTC is stored when the conditions are met note. When diagnostic trouble codes in the suspension module sum are erased, they do not disappear until the next operating cycle ignition off. Ignition on the diagnostic trouble code DTC indicates the relevant position indicator sum C112 C11 position indicator 1 sum C112 D11 position indicator 2 sum C112 E11 position indicator 3. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. The power supply cable to the position indicator is short-circuited to ground the switch for the 4C function is damaged. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. 
Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.